This is Pat Wright with Riff Relevant, and my guests today are Burn, is it the or the? Burn the insects. Uh, of course, we have Mitchell, Lucas, and Tom. And Maryland Doomfest, fellas, what do you think? Love it. Cool. Yeah. Great band, great people, mm -hmm. all the way around. Yeah, it's got like a real like community vibe. I mean, I've been here all three years and it's been sort of like a family feeling. Mm -hmm. so. Total family. Mm -hmm. Y'all toured your way out? Yeah. 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 But you can started in St. Louis, Detroit, Chicago. Help me out. Philly, Pittsburgh, Buffalo. Buffalo. Okay. Now we're here. Now, was this your all's first trip out this way? or Yeah. You know, okay. Well, what do you think? <laughs> what do you think of the East? It's cool, like, there's a lot more uh, people out here, like, mm -hmm. playing out west. There's, like, five people at some shows. Uh, you get lucky and have more than, like, six sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> but, you had stretching it, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, here's cool, like, we've had um, better luck out here. Okay. Two words, question. What is Doom Pop? <laughs> wow. All three of us. Okay. It's heavy, but catchy enough. Like, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I thought that was interesting. Uh, you in the, this age of cliches, you know, everybody throws a label or a term or something. Everything you don't often hear doo pop, uh, you know, attributed to music. Yeah, well, it has to be fun. There, there's yeah. some up tempo stuff. Yeah, mm -hmm. it doesn't all, always have to be all down tuned slow. It could go both ways. Mm -hmm. Even though it is down tuned like all the time. Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it has a moment of limiting some here. Minor yeah. adjustments <laughs> to make it that way. Mm -hmm. uh, 2015, you all put both of the current the releases you have out: Head to the Floor EP and the Droid Intelligence album, which is my favorite. I like it all, but I really like Droid Intelligence. Uh, how did the how was the public reception of the albums overall? The EP and the album. It was good. Um, yeah, generally most people really were into it, and there's kind of like a kind of a cult following around mm -hmm. right now. Like we're not too famous or nothing, obviously. So. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, generally people really like it, and we're all pretty happy with it. Um, but the next one's gonna be so much better. Now how? <laughs> okay. Speaking of that, segue into that. How far along are we on another release? Well, I have a lot of tunes written. I'm sure these guys also have some tunes. In We've been it. playing some live too. Yeah, we have like two or three that were ready to go on playing live, but um, didn't have time to play them tonight. But we play them from time to time, and they're really cool. We have one new one. I would like to make a one, one. one. Yeah. We finally have a third member of the band. Yeah, yeah. An awesome drummer. Tom. Mm -hmm. Now, Tom, how long have you been on board with uh, It's been months. I don't know when. Don't know Probably like two months or so. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So it's just starting to get, starting to get broke in at this point. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. <laughs> now, what's your background? We got, set, we got the set list going. Mm -hmm. I've, I've been playing for years. Okay. Like a lot of different bands, a lot of live, you know. Mm -hmm. Usually a live drummer for the most part. Okay. Now. As I know, a lot of people may not know, y'all are a father and son. Does that dynamic help the band? Is there any pros or cons or? Uh, well, we, work? Look, we kind of look alike. <laughs> 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 but like. But I does know. it in there? <laughs> and we like the same music. Mm -hmm. Well, most. that's what I was sort of getting at. Y'all sort of like are on the same wavelength musically a lot. Absolutely. Yeah, most yeah. of the time, yeah. I figured you would be, you know, we're just, you know, Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it goes good. Okay. We are like just all this morning, like, best friends, man. Yeah. Just this morning. Not just my son, but yeah. best friend. Well, uh -huh. that's, that's great. I mean, that's good, man. It really is. Yeah. Uh, Mitchell, what got you into music originally? I know you're, I'm 48. I'll be 48 in September. I assume you're probably around my age, right? Right, yeah, sir. Yeah. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. I think my next door neighbor got me into music, you know, I used to like, be so bored and I used to go like to my neighbor's house and they used to crank, I hate to use the word black sound, <laughs> but whatever, they got me into music and then 
ACDC, Black Sabbath. Like, and so I just started to trip out on it, dude. Yeah. I got so into it, bro. Oh, yeah. I know. Man, for me, it was Kiss. 1974, See, like, hotter than hell, five I years old. Stand. Man, I know, I know. I know. You and I have actually talked about that. And a lot of people can. Yeah. Me, it was Kiss, but not long after, within a few years, I had an aunt that turned me on to like Deep Purple and Queen and Sabbath. There you and go. Harley Aerosmith. I'm really sorry about not liking Kiss. Hey, I teach their don't. own. Hey, teach their own, man. I just yeah. don't know. Yeah. How about you? I would imagine your father probably had a little bit, maybe, to. And getting every, every day, every day, every day. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I always heard him play um, like old Kaya stuff, and uh, like, and then I heard it on a video game one day, and I was like, I know this, and then I played it over and over and over, but secretly, like, they weren't allowed to know that, that I liked music. <laughs> and then uh, um, eventually, he bought me a guitar. Uh, and he was mad about it, too. Tell him that story. Yeah, like, yeah. I got some money for my birthday, like, you know, when you're in KB, birthday for you. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to get a PlayStation. And then, uh, he's like, here, come with me to this dude's house. And, like, he was like, here, here's this guitar. And he had bought it with that money. And I was like, damn it. And then, like, <laughs> I was like, what the hell is this thing? I was like, I don't want to play this thing, dude. Yeah. I'm gonna play NASCAR like on video games. He was yeah. really upset. And now look at you. And what's <laughs> funny is I didn't know this until about ten years later. Uh, you know? Yeah. Took that long to come out. All yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, I'm already I'm mad at you. you. Yeah. Tom, how about you? What got you in the music originally? Uh, all uh, all the early bands, older bands, like every you know, the Beatles. It, it actually was. <laughs> My first band in kindergarten was Kiss as well. Yeah, so, yeah, so, yeah. I'm sorry. It's like, okay. Yeah, yeah. It's all right. Kiss Army. I had the iron, <laughs> iron on T-shirt in kindergarten, lunch box. Uh, then I went straight to Beatles, and then and then I guess it got heavier. Mm. The 70s, 60s rock. Dude. I prefer Hendrix type stuff. You Same know? here. Yeah. Same here, man. Uh, I'm just a Donovan. <laughs> I, I, I love it's, Donovan. I can take some Donovan. Okay. Mm. Uh, is this your all's first festival appearance per se? Yes. It's the one that's big, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Uh, what's all going on with the remainder of the year for the band? What's on the horizon for you? Well, I know the new album. We want to work on that. And that'll be the first thing, I guess. Mm. Yeah, and then just uh, make more money so we can come back out. I don't know. I've never known bands that make money at playing music. No, no, we're talking about <laughs> oh, day jobs. Dude. Oh, day yeah, jobs. Yeah, so that we yeah. can fund this. <laughs> yeah, because I've never known many, many bands actually making and making no, money. No, they break even. Man. Yeah, poor yeah. 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 and I'm living large. <laughs> yeah. So, well, I usually uh, close things up with a little just an open floor with anything you want to add. If you want to rant about something or bitch about something, just share something, state something, say something, cry about something, whine about something, whatever. It's all you. We'll start with. I want to say that tour is really tough. Mm -hmm. It's tiring. And I love my family, which is Tom and Lucas. That's what I got to say. That works for me, Lucas. I wish I would have done a better job with the wiring and the stereo on my van. But it like uh, cuts out all the time. Uh, it sucks. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Really yeah. 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 I can't stand shitty music like you know quality or technical issues. Like yeah, that. it'll be like you yeah. drive and hit a bump, stops. So like one speaker's like cutting in it. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Yeah, it's irritating. Tom, you won't throw anything. Um, I wish he would have fixed the doors and the window on the van. Oh, dude. <laughs> I, totally agree. I gotta see this. Totally <laughs> well, we're not smokers. We're not smokers, so we Pass have to. Pass your window open. Oh, oh, man. Man. Side yeah. doors don't open. I feel for you, man. I feel for you. Uh, in closing, this is Pat Wright with Riff Relevant. My guests have been Burn the Insects, Mitchell, Lucas, and Tom. Uh, albums are out still with Twitter if you're doing Bandcamp. Yeah, everything's on, on Bandcamp. Yeah, iTunes, Bandcamp. Uh, they play Maryland Doomfest. Get out and see them if you get a chance. And we appreciate it. Thank you, fellas.